Hey girls, how you doing? Let's do another video card. And today is going to be what did they not tell you? Oof, that could be triggering. So let's stay cool. It's just tarot. Let's not go over the top. Okay, so what did they not tell you? We do two parts and we're going to develop. Of course, you know the deal by now. Let's have an idea what's going on. One, two, one, two. Okay, so part number one. <laughs> what did they not tell you? Five of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Cups. Beautiful. So what did they not tell you when they thought that you were out of the league? They may look very confident, maybe professionally, they're very successful, maybe they, they're very popular, but when it comes to you, they feel like you are a different kind of animal. <laughs> wow. Of course you are. <laughs> but they're really not sure they have anything to offer you. You seem to be very together, uh, self-sufficient, and they're not quite sure what they can bring on the table. But they're about to actually uh, change their mind and get into action because they were stagnating, they were preparing themselves as well, gaining the clarity about their own capacity and their own power. Uh, so they need to, you know, they needed to prepare in order to be ready to get into action and move towards you. Turning point indeed, because what they want is to actually meet you face to face and spend quality time, maybe having lunch, whatever, you know what I'm saying. So let's have a look. Yeah, they didn't tell you how much it felt because they have, you know, we see butterfly, male, female, doesn't matter, king of sword, someone who has butterfly in his stomach, but they maintain that, that sword in front of their heart. They keep you at bay, they keep you at a distance, maybe because you're working together, maybe because they are not supposed to be with someone else because they already have somebody. So they didn't, you know, allow themselves to tell you how much they feel. Yes, but they're actually getting rid of that burden and they're focusing on themselves now. What do they want for themselves? Maybe they were doing a lot of things for others, taking a lot of responsibility at work or maybe for that other person. And then they realize this is not for me. I need to actually be real and get to the truth of who I am and what I want. Enormous amount of work here. Procrastination, yeah, they were thinking a lot. They've been thinking and thinking and thinking. Maybe they are not said anything thinking and of course that's part as well of that preparation I was telling about you know I was talking about and also they were actually maybe working on their money finding new ways to earn more money maybe they thought you know I need to have more money in my pocket money doesn't have anything to do with love come on guys come on anyhow maybe they were learning new skills or how to make this connection work gaining more self-confidence towards you um and the door with, between you two is never closed it's number eight infinity number so they were working on it so you know there's no ending between you two boom they are ready to come let me tell you wheel of fortune and knight of sword and that was again all about the sword is the mind that was blocking as simple as that so Mm. Yeah, because they see you as a high priestess uh, or high priest, doesn't matter. You see them for who they are. You're probably the only one who knows them the way you do. And you can see through everything that, you know, underneath that sword, you can definitely see what they're trying to hide. That's why they couldn't really um, be as natural as they would be or they would have liked to be. Because with you, they you know them like you know. <laughs> You have your antenna switch on and that is kind of intimidating as well so that's probably what they didn't tell you that you they can see that you see through them they can't see through you because you're very mysterious you're very guarded but at the same time that that is comforting in one hand that you know them very well so well but very very scary as well very vulnerable that's why they they scared all they didn't tell you that mm -hmm. absolutely okay so pile number two what did they not tell you Six of Pentacles, the star, nine of sword. Ooh. Well, what they didn't tell you is that they really see you as equal. You know, the Six of Pentacles is I love you as much as you love me. It's number six, pure love. Pentacle in that context is all about longevity. They really want to love you as much as you love them. Uh, they want to be transparent as well. Maybe they were not that transparent, to be fair. Because the thing is, they see you as equal. You tick all the boxes and they tick all the boxes for you as well. You are hope. How come you can be hope and not be a reality? Maybe because they're not available. Maybe it's something blocking them. They're trying to also balance their emotion. Maybe they don't think they are deserving you. Maybe they don't think they're good enough for you. Um, you know, the, the star is hope. is a light at the end of the tunnel. But you have to go through the tunnel. 
So maybe they have still some work to do. There's still some room for improvement. There's always room for improvement anyway. But they know that you are guiding them. You show them the path. And you are exquisite. And vice versa. Okay? So they're overthinking. They're not sleeping well at night. They're completely obsessing about you, to be fair. But they're thinking maybe too much. Mm -hmm. Too much. <laughs> What they're not telling you is that they want to start fresh. They want to, this time, um, nurture this connection, really bring everything step by step, but long term, bring everything to um, the level you deserve. And that has to be equal. Maybe before they were not able to give you anything because they, they didn't know what to say, they didn't know what to do, they were stuck. It's possible as well. Yeah, they had a lot of emotion they had to wake up to. There was a hidden part of the iceberg that they didn't see. Maybe they lied to you. Maybe they lie on their situation. Maybe they lie about their feelings. A lot of emotion they didn't tell you. Did they actually ever tell you that they love you? Probably not. But they do. They're very romantic about you. They probably never loved anybody like they love you. And they can't even explain. I met you half a second. How can I be so in love? Or I've been working with you for years. And how can I be so in love with you? All those things, they have to come to maturity and they have to come to their consciousness until they get there and going to go anyway. Let's also pay attention to details because I like details. You know, there's an idea of light here. You're showing the way. At the star, at the moon, uh, you show the path. You help maybe other people. You open the door to their heart. You open that possibility to them to be themselves for the very first time, maybe ever. If it's the very first time, it's ever. <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> but the timing here is going to be okay. Because before the timing was off. So there's an idea of starting properly now. And there's an idea of planting the seed, as we were saying. But this time, nurturing it. But if the timing is wrong, you know, you can try as much as you want. The timing say no, there's going to be no. But now we have that idea of, okay, we're both on the starting block at the same time. We are ready. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So I'm delighted because it's like a gift from the universe and you both deserve it. You work really hard on yourself. Mm. On this note, have a beautiful day and I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah. Ciao.